We try to go out and record the police in order to help protect people's rights, encourage people to stand up for their rights, and bring communities together to fight police abuse. And they have shown a pattern and practice of violating our constitutional uh, rights to do so. And so last night was just more of the same. They didn't like the fact that we were out there filming. And so then they decided to arrest us in order to try to chill our ability to fight back. Now what was the purpose of you filming out there? The same, the same purpose we have of filming all the time. Our goal is to go out there and put cameras out on the street in order to do a few things. One is empower people to recognize that they have uh, rights and that they can stand up for their rights. Two is document uh, police activity in case anything um, unprofessional or criminal happens. And three is to try to deter police officers from committing crimes or acting abusive. Uh, typically, that's exactly what happens. However, when you run into people like Sergeant Randy Deer, uh, the exact opposite happens. Uh, he sees cameras, he sees it as a threat, and then he'll go ahead and attack people who have cameras in their hands. Now, what do you say to those who may say that, you know, Antonio, you have a history of kind of pushing the envelope when it comes to the police department. What do you want to say to that? Well, I mean, I have a history of getting arrested illegally and I always get exonerated. Uh, the Austin Police Department has a history of committing crimes. We don't commit crimes. We go out there and try to document police activity. Good police would want us to film them because they would want to show the world how wonderful and professional they are. The only cops who seem to have a problem with it are criminal cops. And uh, unfortunately, Austin Police Department has a lot of criminal cops.